over on my Discord, one of the users, Mick Yeager. This is totally, you know, props to him. He gave me this idea. So in this game, you have Y to look behind you, Le uh, right to change your weapons, left changes your equipment down there on the left side. But I found that a little difficult because, uh, I got an unspent skill point. I found that difficult because you have to stop moving. And often it's like your weapon breaks, you need to switch your weapon quickly, and you're running. So... <laughs> yeah, let's get down here. So like, for instance, I'm running, I just click... Hold down, look behind me. <laughs> my sword breaks, I need to switch, click right. Switch to my other thing. Click again, switch back to my gun. I need to switch my equipment. Click left. Get off! <laughs> so that... That works incredibly well. So, kind of the, uh... The design philosophy here is basically... Which, if, if you've been... You know, if you've followed my channel at all, I'm kind of, particularly with this year, I'm really, like, pushing the controller. Stop thinking of it like other controllers. But we can get rid of almost everything. There. We can keep ourselves completely focused on the action, never having to take our thumbs off of camera or movement. So really, all this is doing, it, it's very simple. So in the mouse... We have a mode shift, which is right pad click. In that mode shift, I gave this a pretty low dead zone just so I'm not like spinning my look all over the place, but that's something just to experiment with. And then in there, you know, I gave it uh, D pad left, D pad right, right stick click, and Y down. So the, uh, the right stick click, that. That's also just, <laughs> as an FYI, I've, it agitates people when I push B to go back. That is a force of habit because previously, if you would just hit the Steam button to get back to the game, it would sometimes crash the Steam overlay, it would crash, your, it would turn off the controller and it would corrupt your profile. So, force of habit, I hit B for back. But anyways, so like under the gun, sorry, up is right stick click. Switch it. And then when I'm moving, down is to look behind me. And that's, that's pretty much it. It works really well. Being able to switch my weapon. Go down behind me. It's, it, it feels really, really good. Like, that's something that I am going to start incorporating, incorporating more. Like, I can already picture uh, using that in my Arma profile. I could do on the left pad, you know, click left would be toggle lean left, click right would be toggle lean right, click up would be sprint. Down is maybe crouch around. Anyways, you get the point. That is a really simple way to give yourself. To give yourself. You don't. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> you can get rid of the. You don't need the buttons at all. You could rebuild profiles and put other things. Like menu stuff on the face buttons, because you can put. Everything you need right there, boom, just up, down, left, as you're looking around, or on the left pad. I was thinking maybe experimenting with putting jump and crouch. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I got a baby step into it. All right, that's really all I got. I just wanted to share that. That's all. Mick Yeager, he's the boy. He figured that out. That's a great little tip, too.
just as an aside, I picked picked up this uh, the following. This is Dying Light, the following DLC because I hadn't played the add-on. This game is uh, this game's holding up pretty well. It's a fun one. So all right, that's all I got. I will see you around.